give you an update on how all of our plants are doing. Here we have a red grape. And back here we have, I believe those are carrots, and in the center we have an onion growing. We've got watermelon, squash, zucchini, green beans. These here are all broccoli. And the first row here we have pumpkin, pickling cucumbers, two rows of those. And then we've got regular cukes. We started a whole lot more of those, but only two made it, so we've got uh, some more started. And back here in this long uh, oblong pot we have uh, various herbs. And we have gooseberry in the big pot. We have three mixed bell peppers. We've got five sweet banana peppers. And we've got two rows of beefsteak tomatoes. How Ever, uh, they're not doing that great. I've got some more planted. And then down here we've got Ozark Beauty strawberries starting uh, in the funny container there. And then in the back we've got blackberry. And next to it we have raspberry. And here it hasn't started budding at all yet, but hopefully we'll get something soon. That's boysenberry. And this is our new round of seeds that we just planted yesterday. And here we got green grape and red currant. And uh, here we have um, some corn that we have planted. There's uh, six seeds planted in each pot just for, to get them started. And then we're going to transplant them outdoors. By then it should be warm enough. But we've got Silver Queen, Candy Corn, and Peaches and Cream, and they're all non-GMO. And we've got uh, um, Honey OI, I guess that's how you pronounce it, strawberries, started here. Let's see, we've got one that's got a little green coming out on them. These are the ones that you get from Tractor Supply that uh, come 10 in a box. And um, one package that we started had uh, was very dry inside and they didn't look that good. And the second pack was moist and there was a little bit of green showing on a couple of them. So maybe we'll get lucky. But... Um, here are some seed trays that um, we've already taken some plants out of, but uh, they really hadn't started yet, or uh, they they weren't doing that well inside under the grow light. We brought them out here in the greenhouse, and they've just really taken off. Let's see what we've got here. Um, we've got sunflowers, marigolds, uh, we've got basil and dill, cauliflower, now uh, we've got more cantaloupe, and we've got I believe cherry tomatoes growing. So we're getting some progress here and take you around back. Here's our little tiller that we just purchased. Um, really good deal on Amazon. It's electric. No worry about uh, gas or oil or breaking down. It's maintenance free. Runs great. Actually, it spins quite a bit faster than what your normal gas power tillers would. And it really does a nice job of churning the soil. Although it is really tough on your body. Um, it'll pull every muscle you got using it but it really does the job we're really pleased with it and of course this used to be our chicken run this whole area here so the ground is well fertilized we probably had 
a good three to four inches of chicken manure in this area after the snow melted because this used to be the entrance to the the old chicken coop that was here and uh, we went through and tilled this yesterday you can still see a lot of the straw and uh, stuff inside the soil that was uh, kind of their bedding um, but it's uh, this has all been churned up it's dirt and sand and manure and straw and hay but uh, slowly but surely we're getting this area changed over it's going to be our garden of course uh, going to have to take some of this uh, can't remember what these trees are called there's some kind of a crab crabby growth um, but we've got some we've knocked a lot of the lower hanging limbs down to get some sunlight into this area it's the only thing we're concerned about is whether or not we're going to get enough sun here um, but uh, when we took down the old chicken coop and cleaned out it was such a tough winter uh, we cleaned out all the old bedding material and chicken manure out of off the floor of the the old chicken coop that is now the floor for the uh, greenhouse and we filled up one of these orchard boxes with the uh, manure so a few months that'll be great compost great fertilizer for the garden so today I'm hoping to get this side of the um, greenhouse this is going to be where we're going we're to plant all of our corn that box is getting moved over over in this direction over here and um, that will be used for potatoes growing potatoes in and uh, this uh, watering trough it's got a little outlet on the front a drain which I believe will take standard pipe thread and I'm considering uh, filling that with um, goldfish or koi or or uh, something that uh, has a high urea production so that we can uh, use the water as fertilizer and uh, for the plants to use and uh, we can plumb it all into the front of that um, outlet on the front of the container but this area here I hope to get all tilled up today and um, ready for the corn whenever it's ready for us and uh, gonna get a little bit more done in this overall area this old shed material has to be moved out we'll pull out the tractor and throw that on the trailer and haul it over to the garage get that on a pallet and uh, of course we can use this material down the road for other projects and we'll give you another update Thanks for watching.